Welcome to the Oweo Sports Session. My name is Christian Eoff and today I'm going to show you the hockey gear. What you need and how to put it on. Let's gear up. As a base layer I like to wear a breathable long sleeve shirt, some long underwear and cut resistant socks. The first piece of equipment you put on, regardless if you're a man or a woman, is a jog. I'm wearing a jog and garter belt combination. Fun fact, the first jog was worn in 1874. The first helmet was worn in 1974. Next up are the shin pads. I'm fastening them with the Velcro. The length of your shin pads depend on whether you're wearing them underneath your tongue or wearing them over your tongue. Your shin pads should fit well around your knee and should be long enough. If you're unsure about the size you need, go to your local dealer and get fitted. If you notice a damage after blocking a shot, you should replace your shin pads. Next up are the socks. The top is where the Velcro is or where they get wider. The next piece I put on are my skates. Some players prefer to put their pants on first. This works for me though. The size of the skates is depending on your personal preference. Some guys like the skates so tight that their feet are touching the front of the skates, others like some more room. For me, I have about half an inch space. Since my left foot is bigger than my right foot, my skates are customized to my feet. I recommend that you see your local dealer to get your skates fitted. The lifespan of your skates depend on how often you use them. As a professional, you use about two to three pairs a season, but for an amateur player, you might be able to wear them for a couple of years. Next, I'm putting on my pants. The pants offer lots of protection. One of the main areas is the tailbone, then in the front for blocking shots and in the back there's some small protection. The pants should be long enough so there isn't any room between your shin pads and the pants where a shot could hit you. Your pants shouldn't be too big, they should offer a snug fit. And if you don't fit in, then your pants are too small. Next up are the elbow pads. The elbow pads are formed in a way you can only put them on right. Now I'm putting on my shoulder pads.
Your shoulder pads are protecting your shoulders, your sternum and your spine. Next up is the jersey. For the jersey, it's important that it fits right. You gotta feel good. And it also has to look good. If you want to create your own jersey, go to the Oweo 3D designer and try it for yourself. And you can order your jersey starting from one piece. In junior hockey, you need to wear a neck guard. It is recommended to wear a neck guard to prevent cuts from the skates to your neck. Next up, it's a helmet. The helmet is one of the most important pieces of equipment as it protects your head from injury. Your helmet should fit snug and it shouldn't move around when you move your head. When purchasing a new helmet, make sure it's hockey certified. You can purchase your helmet without a face mask or with a face mask. In juniors, you have to wear a face mask. When you turn pro, you can wear a half shield. When wearing a half shield, I recommend that you also wear a mouse guard. The last piece of equipment are the gloves. The gloves come in different sizes and with different materials for the palms. The hockey stick comes with different blade patterns, different flexes and in different sizes. For younger players I would recommend a lower flex stick. A full set of hockey equipment roughly starts at around $500. You might be able to save some money by buying some equipment second hand or on sale, but I wouldn't recommend to buy a helmet, gloves or skates second hand. If you enjoyed today's video, like and subscribe our channel. And I'm, I'm gonna hit the ice now. Woo!